All right, so NordVPN versus ExpressVPN. Do you want to know which one's best? It's Nord, hands down. No question it's Nord. All right, thanks for stopping by. I gotta go take some cookies out of the oven. I'm glad we could settle this quickly. Just kidding, I don't bake. Well, only on Sundays. Really, I got nothing better to do on this fine Thursday morning than to explain to you why NordVPN is better than ExpressVPN. So, here it goes. When it comes to design, speed, privacy features, content unblocking, and even price, NordVPN is just the better option. If you don't believe me, just stick around. I think it'll become pretty clear. If you do believe me, head down to that video description and click the link to get a killer discount on Nord, or Express if that's what you prefer. All right, here we go. Starting with the interface, Nord's is just better. It's built around a world map. You navigate to the country that you want and you either let Nord pick the fastest server for you or you scroll through a list of available servers. Meanwhile, Express kind of looks like it's stuck in 2008. It's definitely easy to use, but it kind of fails to impress compared to Nord. ExpressVPN also has fewer servers than Nord, which means that server congestion is more likely. Now, once upon a time, ExpressVPN could have said that it had more servers in more countries than Nord, but those days are over. NordVPN is definitely coming out ahead when it comes to interface and server selection, but can ExpressVPN close the gap when it comes to speeds? I think you already know the answer here. I ran 122 speed tests on our top VPNs to see which one was the fastest, and NordVPN beat ExpressVPN by a lot. Now to be fair, the speeds you experience when using any VPN are gonna depend on a number of factors, like your ISP, the stability of your internet connection, and your mental processing power. Just kidding about that last one. But after that many tests, I'm pretty confident that NordVPN is faster than ExpressVPN overall. It also offered lower ping, and if you're a gamer, you know that matters a lot. And given these results, I wouldn't recommend ExpressVPN. Now, there's one area that ExpressVPN did beat out NordVPN, and that's in content unblocking. Both Nord and Express connect to pretty much every platform, whether it's Linux, Windows, Android, iOS, Mac, they should work with pretty much any device you're using. But there were small differences in their ability to unblock content. I spent about 74 hours watching geo-restricted content on Netflix, just for you guys. You're welcome. After reliving all nine seasons of The Office, I found that ExpressVPN unblocked content in a few more countries than Nord. That said, Nord's faster speeds and lower ping did result in a better overall streaming experience. So did Express really win here? I'm not so sure about that. It gets worse for ExpressVPN when we start to talk about privacy. Now, on paper, it doesn't look too bad. It has the basics such as an audited no logs policy and RAM based servers so they're not storing your information, but it doesn't have some of the extras that Nord offers, like their Onion over Tor routing protocol. ExpressVPN is also owned by Cape Technologies. Now look, I'm not a conspiracy minded person, unless of course we're talking about Bigfoot. He's real, I've seen him. That's a story for another day. Anyway, Cape Technologies has a bit of a sketchy past. They used to be distributors of adware and malware, and as you might imagine, this makes people in the tech industry a little bit concerned. The biggest privacy freaks among us would say to steer clear of any Cape Technologies owned product, including ExpressVPN. Keep in mind those same privacy freaks would probably tell you to get a decentralized VPN. And to some extent they're right, they can be more secure, but they're much more difficult to set up and use and not really approachable for the average user. NordVPN is a good way to get that extra layer of privacy without using a decentralized VPN. It has better privacy features than Express, it's easier to use, it's faster, and it has many other features that I've already mentioned and one that I haven't. So it's time to talk about pricing. Given that Nord is faster, easier to use, has slightly better privacy features, and is an overall better experience, you'd think that NordVPN was more expensive than ExpressVPN. But no, as long as you sign up for at least a year plan, NordVPN is the less expensive option. And of course, if you use my link in the video description, you'll get an even better deal on Nord. I think it's pretty clear that Nord is better than Express. It has a better interface, it's faster, it has more privacy features, and it's cheaper. So scroll on down to that video description, click the link and sign up. Until next time, stay safe out there.